what I wish I knew earlier in regards to losing weight and feeling good again in my body as someone with a history of high cortisol and thyroid issues. So I was diagnosed hypothyroid and then later diagnosed with Hashimoto's. I also had all of the cortisol issues that you can have. Sometimes I had across the board high cortisol. Sometimes it was a reverse curve. I had a straight line curve in my cortisol levels and I started gaining a lot of weight and I, I really struggled with this because I was a personal trainer. I was in the fitness industry. I was in the fitness industry for several years before struggling with these things. And I, I was still trying to work out in a lot of the same ways that I was as in that, in that kind of space, in that fitness space, specifically the bodybuilding space for me and going for that aesthetic while dealing with all of these issues, chronic issues, I also had chronic gut issues. I, you know, my face got really puffy. I was tired all of the time. I would, I had insomnia issues at night and then I would need naps during the day. And it was such, it was such a struggle. And then I just, I felt terrible in my body because I was gaining so much weight and I just felt puffy and inflamed and just not like myself. And I know so many of you also struggle with that. And one of the big things when it comes to exercise in particular with this is exercise is a stressor. It is a good stressor and it is great when done in appropriate doses for our bodies. And so at the time I was still doing fasted cardio in the morning, several days a week. I was doing strength training several days a week, like pretty like bodybuilding, bodybuilding style strength type of workout. So I was doing like body part splits. And then I was also, uh, I taught high intensity interval training classes. I participated in, in the classes as well. And my body was just too stressed. So therefore it was holding on to weight. And I wish someone would have, would have explained this whole stress bucket, like to looking at the total stress load on our body, internal stress, external stress, mental, emotional stress, all of these things that go in, that impact this, especially if you have thyroid issues and especially if you have cortisol dysregulation issues, this plays a huge part. So for many of us who are in the midst of struggling with those issues, we need to take a step back because the exercise on top of everything else may be too much for our bodies to handle. And at this time, you know, for me, I could handle walking for a period of time and that wouldn't contribute to excess weight gain because it was gentle. It wasn't too much of a stressor. And then I could slowly add in some body weight strength training. And then, uh, you know, now I am able to do multiple days of strength training again. I watch my total stress load for sure because I put Hashimoto's into remission. I no longer have cortisol issues. And I'm just aware of that. And so that looks really different for everyone. It depends on what you're doing, but stopping with the HIIT classes, no crazy workouts, no crazy cardio, and start slow. And I know how challenging it can be if you're super into fitness. Trust me, it was a huge part of my identity that I had to reassess and then I had to go back and do a bunch of trauma work around this. But this is so important. And I know we're taught that exercise more, eat less, like that's the way to lose weight. And yes, caloric deficits matter. And if you've got thyroid issues, if you've got cortisol dysregulation issues, that will not work. That simple formula of do more, eat less is only going to contribute to more stress, which means more weight gain, harder time losing weight. So we have to look at the whole picture of total stress load going on in your body. And then we can look at what can your body handle? How can your body handle this? And as we decrease total stress load, we can increase that exercise component a little bit more. If you need help in addressing these issues so that you can feel good in your body, feel comfortable in your body again, book a free consult with us. We'd love to take a look at the bigger picture and help you figure out what your body needs right now. There's a link in our bio.